We have meteorologist Kyla Grogan with details about what we can expect and also what the conditions will look like if people are trying to see that uh, solar eclipse this weekend. Yeah, so it is an annular eclipse. And what that means is that this is when the moon passes in front of the sun. The moon is at its farthest point away from us or close to it. So what happens is it appears smaller than the sun and you get this ring of fire around it. That's why you hear it called the ring of fire eclipse. So the place where you'll be able to see it the best is right along this path of what's called total annularity. And as we zoom into California, you see we'll see about an 80% eclipse. So about an 80% of the coverage of what you would see if you were in that path. Now I'm going to take you as if we're in a plane and we're starting at Oregon because that path starts in Oregon and it goes all the way to Corpus Christi, Texas. And if you were trying to get to the place that's kind of the closest to us, you can see Eugene, Oregon right here. I'm going to take you to that California, Oregon border and that California, Nevada border. And it would be Davis Creek would about be the closest spot that's in the top northeast corner of California. So that would be where you want to go if you wanted to see the totality. Now, here's some tips here. You don't want to look directly at the sun. Don't do it. Sunglasses aren't going to protect you. And you only want to look through an approved solar filter or observe it indirectly by projecting the sun's image with a pinhole. I'm going to tell you how to do this. This is kind of cool, mom and dad. If you want to make this with the kids at home, this is what you're going to need. Pencil, scissors, paper, tape, foil, and a shoebox. Cut two holes in the shoebox. Now we're going to cover one of those holes with the tin foil. And once you cover that with the tin foil, what you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil and you're just going to poke a little hole. It could be a, a pin as well, just a little hole. Now you're going to take the piece of paper, put it on the back wall of the box, tape that there, and then you're going to close the box and you're going to put your back to the sun and then you'll be able to see this projected right through the open hole and you can watch the eclipse safely. So that is how you do it if you want to make your at-home solar eclipse viewer. There you go, annular eclipse viewer. Now, as far as clouds are concerned, you can see Saturday morning, we are going to still have some clouds left over from that front. So it is going to be a little tough. But if you are South Bay or inland, I think you might do okay. And what you'll probably notice is kind of an eerie darkness at a time of day when we're used to seeing light. When we come back, I'll talk more about our forecast and we'll get into our weekend. For now, I'll send it back to the desk.